Hey guys, Josh McKay with the uh, Test Experts here. We're doing ACT problems again today. Um, today's problem says the statement below, the statements below are true. Um, now, when it says something like this, let's don't argue with the statements. Just believe them to be true. All insects that are attracted to honey are ants. Insect I is not an ant, and insect J is attracted to honey. I on this pro and then and then the question says which of the following statement, which of the following statements is necessarily true? Um, on a problem like this, before I read the answer choices, I would, as I'm reading these, think about what they mean. So all insects that are attracted to honey are ants. So if you are not attracted to honey, you're not an ant. Um, things like that. Uh, insect I is not an ant. Insect J is attracted to honey. So when I first looked through this, I said, well, if J is not attract, is attracted to honey, and uh, all insects that are attracted to honey are ants, then J must be an ant. So that's one thing, one possible answer that was in my mind as I read through this the first time. Um, but let's evaluate each, each uh, answer choice. Insect I is an ant. Well, stop there. Insect I is not an ant. So anything that says insect I is an ant is wrong. That rules out both A and B. Look, insect I is an ant. So these two are wrong. Insect I is attracted to honey. Now do we know that? We know all insects that are attracted to honey are ants. Insect I is not an ant, so we don't know this for sure, definitely. Um, insect J is not attracted to honey. Uh, insect J is attracted to honey is what this says, so this is just directly contradicting the statement here. So it's definitely out. And then insect J is an ant. That's the one that I had in my mind that was probably the right answer to begin with. And so that is going to be the right answer here. So you'll occasionally get questions like this on the ACT and SAT that are um, not really math, but logic. Anyway, um, and that's the way you should treat these questions. If you like today's video, give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and make your friends subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time.